Hello everyone and happy Thanksgiving. For those of us here in the U.S., Thanksgiving is a holiday where we reflect on all the blessings that we have. Koreans celebrate a similar holiday called Chuseok. This year it landed at the end of September. And during Chuseok, the entire country shuts down and people go back to their hometowns to celebrate. Festivities include a large traditional meal and most traditional observers pay homage to their ancestors by visiting their grave. But even this celebration, which both North and South Korea observe, shows the difference between the two countries. South Koreans can easily go back to their hometowns to celebrate because of the vast infrastructure that can handle the spike in travel. They have plenty of food to eat during their celebrations and they are free to move about the country without having to get permission like in North Korea. Celebrations in the Hermit Kingdom were even further hampered this year because of COVID-19. And to make things worse, it looks like North Korea is heading into another pronounced food shortage. Candidly speaking, I am sad that I will not be able to celebrate Thanksgiving this year as I normally do. But as I continue the work of helping these people, I have a constant reminder of God's goodness and grace in my life. Though my Thanksgiving will be muted, I am reminded that I still have food, I still have my freedom, I still live in a land that provides me with so much. I have read countless reports about the suffering inside the walls of North Korea. I have sat with hundreds of North Koreans as they recounted tales of immense heartache. It is a great baseline for me as I think about the challenges in my life. It quickly snaps me back to the reality of my situation, that I am an undeserved recipient of God's grace in my life. So as we spend this Thanksgiving in perhaps a different way, I hope and pray that we would give thanks for all that we have and not focus on what is missing. Thank you and have a blessed Thanksgiving.